Welcome back to Tenor Guitar Time. Let's wrap up the E-shaped chords in this video. Remember the E-shaped chords have the root note on the D string. So let's practice playing a song using E-shaped chords so we can get more familiar where the key where notes are on our D string so we can move around the neck. So quick review of the E-shaped chords. Here's a E major, root note on the D string, E minor, E7. In this lesson today, we're going to use the chords to the Hunter Garcia tune, Dupree's Diamond Blues. It's got the E-shaped e 7th chord at the E7, it's got the E-shaped minor chord at the 7th fret, that's an A minor. And it goes to D on the 12th fret, back to the major form. And back to the G on the 5th fret in the major form. And then it does this uh, catchy walk down, back to the top. E7, A minor. And then the end of the verse goes D, C, C minor, D, G. So that's the music I was playing in the opening. I'm just doing the verse, not the chorus. I'm going to just strum the chords uh, in a minimalistic way with a metronome just so you can get familiar with the chord pattern and moving it around. After that, we'll work on playing the arpeggi arpeggios over the chord pattern. Two, That's the, the chords to the verse. Now the let's now the arpeggios. So for the seventh on the first chord, the E7, it's right here. Whoops, sorry, I forgot a note. Arpeggios right here. And then the D major. 
major. And the G major. And then um, at the end of the second time around of the verse, the second line where it goes to the C and the C minor, you could go the you could walk the major arpeggio to the minor one to the D and it ends on the G and then walk down from G to E to go back to the top so as we roll around the chords we'll try to practice the chord changes without strumming the chords just playing portions of the arpeggio, arpeggios, and sometimes, um, you know, kind of repeating the same first four notes of the arpeggio in a similar order, so you can hear the chord, how the chord changes, and then mix it up. Try coming uh, descending from high to low, and so on. So let's try this. Uh, Moving the arpeggios around over these chord changes. Two, three, four. Practice those E-shaped chords. Uh, try to play songs you know already using all the forms of the E-shaped chords. Uh, practice it with the other chords that we've learned, other shapes, like uh, the C-shape. So, for example, if we want to do this song in the C-shaped chords, we have our, there's our E right there, it's our E7. shape chords and the 
find the G-shaped chords. Let's see, our E note is right here. Practice the songs that you know using as many shapes as you can so you widen your knowledge of the, the neck of the tenor guitar. Thanks for joining me on Tenor Guitar Time.